to make a photo book. And I'm going to choose a recent trip that we took to Venice as the pictures that I want to put in my photo book. And as you can see, I have 165 pictures in this one that says Venice. And right next to it, I have Venice again, and it has 87 pictures. Now, I don't want to use all of those pictures in my photo book, so I'm going to open up this event and just choose several pictures that I would like in my photo book. I'm going to hold my Command key down so that I can skip several photos and just select the ones that I want the most. And I'm going to go through and pick several. Again, have some. People. I'm not much for having people in my photo, but I will select some of these. And there's our hotel. And try to get some representative pictures of the trip. And in the interest of time, I'm not going to do too many, but I do want several so that you can see how they can be put into a photo book as a memory of your trip. And some of the, and it's very simple and easy to do, and it's quick. I suggest that before you choose your photos, that they that you edit the ones that you think you want, so that you're not spending a lot of time trying to edit them as you're developing your photo book, so that they're just ready to pop right into your photo book. And look at this one, and this one, and this one. Now I'm going to go up, and I'm going to do file and do new album. So now all of these pictures will be in my album that I'm going to call Venice. And as I mentioned before, I have another um, another event that's also called Venice. So I'm going to open this one up and see if there are some photos that I want to pick from here. And some of these shots I just love. So I'm going to get more of these from this side. And this and that. There's the Bridge of Size. There's a wonderful window. And I'm going to get this and this. And all I need to do now is to drag them into my Venice album. Just hold my mouse down and drag them into Venice. And so now I have 33 pictures in my Venice album that I can use for my photo book. So I highlight that, I go to create, and I'm going to put book. Now here's where we have a lot of choices. It can be a hardcover book, and I can tell you those are the most expensive. It can be soft cover or wire bound. I'm going to choose hardcover, and I'm going to choose extra large. Those, this is a 13 by 10 inch. It's $50 for a book, and I think the book has 20 pages, so that would be front and back, so it would be, give you uh, 40 pages. And here you have choices for the cover and the interior. As you can see, white is selected, so the cover is white, and in here it's white on your page layout. Maybe I decided that I like green better, blue, I'm going to look through the different choices available, the different themes, and there's a journal theme, and down here it shows you what this layout would look like. And here's a photo essay, that's kind of sharp. And modern lines, again you have your examples down here. I'm going to go and choose Old World Travel for my theme and this gives me different colors on the pa different pages. This would make my book all of the pages in the cover green. This would be blue. This would be very bright is what it would be and green. I'm going to choose the uh, several colors and this tells you that it's going to be 13 by 10 inches and $50. I think this gives you 20 pages and it's a dollar and 49 cents for each extra page. So I'm going to click create. And as you can see, it's laid out my book for me. And this is a nice feature because I had assigned a place to these photos. It's put in Italy, it's put in a map page and put in Italy. And um, so that'll make a nice backdrop for that page. 
I can click a page to edit. This is going to be my cover. And this up here tells me that the name of my book is Venice and that it has 22 pages. It also tells me um, now I can change that. I can write a little um, subtitle. So I'm going to put my title is Venice and I'm going to put as seen through the eyes of Vicki Tom Adrian and Lou. Now I can make that bigger. I can change the font. I just highlight it and I go in here and I select a different font and I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger. I want it centered and that's it. And now here I can go in and I can talk about the trip. I can say this trip took place on September 2013 and I can go or 2012 and I can go in and I can write a whole little story about the trip. I can go back here to all pages and again here's another I can talk about our trip some more here. I can change the layout if I want to. Here I have one photo. I can do choose any of these layouts. Let me go back to all pages and pick a page that has several pictures on it to demonstrate some other things that you can do. Now here is a layout with one picture. I can change that. Suppose I want to write a little explanation about this picture. So I can choose a picture that allows me also to write. And I can say like this is the restaurant where we had our best meal. And again, I can make this a lot bigger. And whoops, that's a little bit big. So we'll tone this down a little. And go there. So now I can center it. So that's right in the center. And now I have a picture with a little caption that can tell a story. Now this is a great shot, but it's also the same shot as what I have right here practically. So I'm going to go to my photos. I'm going to look at my photos and it puts a little check mark among all the photos that have been used. If you scroll through and you find one that wasn't used, you can change it to that photo. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this photo in. I can either put this photo in like this. I can, and on this one, I can increase the size a little bit. Now, say I, because it it's already used all my photos and I may not want to repeat, I can go ahead and change this layout to I can go to my layout tab. I can do this, and I can choose two photos, and instead. I have two photos and I don't want that one because it's already been used elsewhere so perhaps I'll put this one in instead. Now you can go through all your pages like this and this is I love this particular um, effect it's only one picture you can see that you can't see quite all of it so I can and it's already as small as the page will go and it still won't fit on both sides. So I can just go to my navigator and move it over and now I can see this. So what it's done, it's taken one picture and made it look like a whole bunch of tiny little thumbnails. Now if I want to edit this, make it bigger, I can do that and focus on whatever I want to focus on. Now, I'm going to go back on this side. I'm going to select this one and as I said before what you really want to do is to enhance all your photos, fix all your photos before you put them into your calendar to save some time. However, um, I didn't do that on this one so I'm going to go in here and see if I can fix this a little bit. I'm going to 
First I'm going to try a quick fix. I'm going to enhance it. That made it a little brighter. Let me see what else I can do to it. Let me make this. And it's a little too saturated. I'd like it a little less saturated. Because they were so yellow. And I'm going to give this a little more blue. Yeah, that's too yellow. And about like that. Let me get a little more definition. And now I'm going to go back to my book. And then I like that a lot better. I'm going to go to my layout. Again. And I like that a lot. So let's try and look at some other pages. See what we might want to do. Choose this one. And I'm going to double click on this page. Now as you can see here, this is this is very nice. But it's got a little bit of a dull background. So I'm going to change my background. I'm going to change it to that. And when you see one that has this little Golden Gate Bridge picture in it, that means that you can pull in another photo as your background photo. So I'm going to go into my photos. I'm going to select something that I want to use for my background. Now I know that that clock was close to St. Mark's Square. So I'm going to pull, let's see, actually I want a square picture for that. So I'm going to pull in this one as a background picture. Now it's awfully bright, so I'm going to click on this, double click on this. I'm going to change the opacity down a little bit so it's more of a background. I'm going to make it black and white. like that and now you've got this picture showing up behind this and we've reduced the opacity so it's just barely shining through. Now I can change my border on that picture. I can make it look like that. I can do that if I want more text. I can do that. I kind of like this one here. Actually the plain border. So that's several different things that you can do by just playing around with the options that you have. Here's my book settings. I want to auto lay out the pages. If I wanted to be able to put the pictures where I wanted them and not have iPhoto lay them out automatically, I would uncheck this. I think it's easier to let iPhoto lay it out the way it thinks it should be and then tweak it a little bit, uh, one or two pages or three or four pages if I decide that it needs some tweaking. Now I want it to show the page numbers. I don't necessarily want it to use times. I'm going to have it use that and say a little bit wide. Okay. Say that that's okay. Now I think we're pretty much set. I can, I'm going to take one last look at my pictures, at my photo book. And I like that. I like the way it looks. I think it's great and I'm going to leave it this way. I now select buy the book and I can go ahead and buy this book. Now say if for, if for some reason we didn't like the theme, I can go up here and I can say please change it and it asks me if I really want to do that because I might lose some uh, arrangements because other themes may not have the same options but just for fun I'm going to hit continue and instead of old world travel how about tropical travel? And that's what that would be like. So let's go ahead and hit apply. And as you can see, it changed it to a different travel uh, theme, but it still looks fine. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Now, once you've made a book, and let's go out of the um, book page. Go back to the main screen. Now suppose I want to go back and work some more on that. Maybe I only finished half of it or I want to take one more look at it before I finalize it and buy it. I can go under projects. I can go under my Venice book and there it is and I can continue to work on it. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and that you've learned how easy it is to do a photo book. Thank you.